welcome back, my beloved ones. We are talking about ourselves, loving, knowing ourselves more, understanding ourselves better, so we can love more everyone out there. So, April, we were talking about the chakras. So, you were saying that if the chakra is, if somebody is feeling down, or is it just only feeling negative when the chakra goes out? Of yeah, we have emotional imbalances, right? Emotional Life is, imbalance. Sometimes you just have, you know, not so good days and some good days, and mm -hmm. my emotions can kind of uh, throw off mm -hmm. my, my, my vortex system that's inside my body. Mm -hmm. And all those chakras are leading into uh you know if my wants or my needs mm -hmm. or you know people talk about the throat chakra if i'm not sharing you know i, I might get a lot of colds hmm. yeah so, I throw down. so it's all spiritually connected i have a question about that see i have always said that's why i always have to wear my scarf because i always get sore throat so easily what what could that mean well, that could be you might need I, to get a chakra profile with me. Yes, yes. let's schedule that. Yes, that I would really like that. Get more of your outflow, and so mm -hmm. it's kind of like if you can imagine a spinning wheel like yes. this. Yes. And sometimes, you know, if I get nervous or upset, I might kind of squeeze my wheel a little bit. Oh. Yeah, and so when I really want to have more flow, yeah, more flow. Can open up that chakra a little oh. bit and open up that throat chakra so I'm in communication. Oh, yes. communi opening up my communication more. I see. Yeah. Because I've been talking a lot ever since I have this show and everything else I'm doing, being in Toastmasters and all that. I have been talking a lot. So I said, maybe that's why my throat is the way it is. Right. But yeah, maybe, yes, we're going to do that uh, consultation. Yes. Yeah. I'm very excited. And so tell me more about these other chakras. I think there's so how many six or there's like seven that I really work with. Oh, seven. So yes. helping an individual just understand where maybe something is getting um, uh, a little out of out of balance, mm -hmm. and then giving them a healing, uh, let's say, protocol to help heal that, because mm -hmm. everything's spiritually connected. So I start healing what may not be working for me that's all mm -hmm. and um if someone comes into a private consultation i can go more into that than really what i can do in this show but mm -hmm. uh just start really healing the physical body yes. so everything's connected to the physical body mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so if i have like colds like you or mm -hmm. maybe something's going on in my reproductive areas um you know there's a way of using I like to call it a heal thyself kind of protocol. Oh, I like that. Yeah. You know, this so weekend... we start healing. We just start healing that. That's good because I learned this weekend I went to this event where I was invited to this awesome event. It's called the Power of Purpose. Hello, everybody. Power of Purpose, my dear friends out there. And I learned a lot that if you are living your purpose, of course, you are content and all that. And again, if you... We know ourselves... We get to learn our purpose, and then we understand ourselves better and happier. And happier. So yes. we're healing our physical body. We're healing our physical, mm -hmm. spiritual self, our emotional self. So everything's a step-by-step -step, uh, process with me from the consultations to the classes and events. Mm -hmm. It's not uh, an overnight. Okay. It's just a step-by-step. -step. The the, the the more I learn and grow with this, the mm -hmm. better I become. Yes, and and so of course we in our everyday life we we live it. I mean we practice what we we learn. So let let me see in your your regular day how how is your regular day? Yeah, of course you you want to be in you want to be balanced. You want your uh, what do you call that chakra to be balanced? So, so it's just being in alignment with with, with, with my higher self higher say. self yeah yeah so my regular day begins with um, really working with spirit you know mm. working with getting actually a keyword of the day this is the way I work with 
all every day. Yes. Every day I get a keyword. I huh. think everybody. So I just work with my higher self or my inner guidance. And so today my keyword that I got today was happiness. Oh, and then I make a key sentence out of that key word. Mm -hmm. So my key sentence today, see if I can remember, is uh, I am my inner happiness. Oh, I love that. So, wow. you know, and, um, and then this evening when I, you know, before I retire and go to bed, I'll actually regroup with myself. Uh -huh. Like, what did that mean for me? What, how was I learning through oh. that? Why did spirit give, give that to me? What maybe are these things I would do differently? And then I oh. give myself a short meditation with spirit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I actually, that chakra um, consultation, mm -hmm. there's a heal thyself protocol in it. And I actually do that protocol. I do that protocol every day. Um, because I'm just like everybody else. I need yes. spiritual tools in my spiritual toolbox. Wow. Yeah. So every day. Every day. So I just you, have a. You have this a system. keyword. Keyword. So it's a routine that you do. So you wake up, you, you get your keyword, and then you meditate a little bit and meditate. get yourself ready for the day. Get ready. And then I, I, then I, I do a lot of uh, uh, working with energy and, and clearing, you know, spaces. Um, even before I come here, and just getting that energy and that positive light, that loving light, mm -hmm. asking that universal, um, you know, to, to back me in this day. I see. So, so it's you, like a step by step. Yeah. So you take moments in your day to spend time with yourself. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, it's so. important. No, wow. And I that's love what I teach: that. helping people help themselves. Absolutely, because it makes perfect sense because you have to regroup, like you said, but you don't need to regroup at the late of the night. You can regroup at the middle of the day. Absolutely. Yes. So I'm regrouping it in the morning, in the evening, in the afternoon. <laughs> yes. And, you know, it could just take five minutes sometimes. Wow. That's it's awesome. Because see, every, uh, like, like for me, I have a lot of things to do and yeah, I have, I'm learning how to do my list and checking on my list. But then at the same time, I must take a moment to regroup and spend time with myself, even just for a moment. And that will make things better, yeah. you, so you're more balanced and joy, more peaceful and joyful and happier. That's right. Yes, and if you're happier, you can spend, you can be more loving with to others. And I go so home, be go. more loving to my husband, or my family, my it. friends. Because they start having more self-understanding, like, yes. wow, I did that, but that didn't work out too well, uh -huh. <laughs> right? So I learned what to do differently. Wow, yes, yeah. because if you keep doing the same thing and expect a, a different result, what do they call that? It's like I'm hitting a brick wall and I yeah, don't understand why. Yeah, it's insanity, why. they call it. So, yeah, yeah, so giving people tools for their spiritual toolbox. Wow, that's really awesome. I really like that. Oh, wow, that's the best thing I've learned so far. I'm going to learn more <laughs> from you today, and I appreciate that. Everybody else, out there, I hope you're learning from this. It's very important and very eye-opening, I would say. Enlightening, that's my word. Very enlightening. And don't go away, we have one more segment. We're going to talk more about how we can learn more about ourselves, be more loving, and be better to everybody else. Don't go away, my beloved ones. <laughs> 